Okay, so this story and rumor is not a surprise to me, and it's coming out of the verge that Apple could be announcing a new MacBook Air at their annual worldwide conference tomorrow, but customers could see a huge delay in shipping times pushed back by weeks. Now, this is coming from Mark Gurman. It's related to the, the Chinese manufacturer shutdowns that have been going on. And I think it's been affecting Apple's production of the new un unannounced MacBook Air. Uh, this, of course, is related to the pandemic uh, and China's zero COVID policy, which led factories in China to actually shut down. Now, the good news is uh, China has begun to relax on the COVID policy, but there are some factories that remain shut down, according to our buddy Ming. Um, and related MacBook Air news, which is not... Also a surprise is the MacBook, the new MacBook Air, I, I repeat, will not be coming in an array of colors like the current IMAX. So that's really sad because those colors are really cool. But it appears they're going to stick with the good old space gray and the silver in addition to a dark blue and a champagne gold. So kind of reminds me of the actual, I guess, iPhone 13 Pro, iPhone 12 Pro, maybe the iPhone 13 Pro. Um, in terms of the colors, hopefully it's like that nice blue. We all know what the champagne looks like. You know, all the changes uh, Mark is suggesting is that the MacBook Airs is going to keep the two USB ports. So I guess that's not a change, but it's going to add MagSafe like the uh, new MacBook Pros have, as well as Touch ID like the MacBook Pros. And no surprise, there's not going to be a touch bar. So if you were looking for one, I'm sorry. Touch bar is gone, but you are going to get a notch similar to the MacBook Pros on the market. All the rumors that are likely with this MacBook Air is it's going to have a M1 chip, which is very familiar to what we currently have. Um, so it's a bit of a letdown uh, since a lot of the rumors suggested that it would have a M2 chip. But according to those rumors, the M2 chip wouldn't be that much more powerful than the M1 chip. So it's a good chance we're not missing out on anything. Now, before I finish up, uh, I want to let you guys know uh, that the MacBook Air has been one of Apple's most popular Macs, you know, due to the cost. You know, I think it's a great laptop for college students or just individuals who, you know, simply want to use the MacBook Air for, you know, typing up Word documents or surfing the web, taking a Zoom call here and there. And other Mac news, and this is where things get really exciting. Uh, it appears B&H, Photos and Videos, really huge website here in the States, listed two unreleased Macs, one of which uh, is supporting the M2 chip. So we're going to get our M2 chip after all, according to this leak from B&H. And then there's going to be another chip called the M1 Pro. Hmm. Now, the first machine that's listed on B&H's website is a Mac Mini Tower. Now, this, I will say, is a little bit confusing, particularly uh, by the word tower. I don't know if that's a placeholder, but it's called Tower. Mac mini tower, which leads me to ask this question, which is, is it going to be taller than the release recently announced Mac studio, or will it be between the Mac mini that we currently have and the Mac studio? Here's my guess. My guess is probably going to fall somewhere in the middle. Uh, I think it's going to be smaller than the Mac studio. And the reason I think that is because the specs, according to BNH's website, suggests that its base unit will have eight gigabits of RAM and a 256 SSD drive. Now, the the event, it's a software event, so I would say take these hardware rumors um, for what they are worth. Uh, we may not see hardware at this uh, announce this announcement or this keynote tomorrow, but. You know, normally Apple focuses on iOS, iPadOS, macOS, watchOS, and tvOS. But otherwise, I think it's time for a, a new Mac Mini. It's been a couple years since the last one came out with the M1 chip. And the current design, I don't know how old the current design is, but it's been around for a while. And the design, which I do like, it's extremely dated. Otherwise... 
Um, we'll see what transpires tomorrow. Until then, uh, we'll talk to you guys in the next one. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Later.